Hey you guys, it's Peter, <laughs> and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Beast. <laughs> I'm YouTube Famous Now. Available in 20, 2021, the album, Dad <clears throat> AF. When you call my name, it's like a little prayer. I'm down on my knees. Family friendly. I want to take you there. <laughs> a little Madonna for you today. Vogue. <laughs> I am such a huge old school Madonna fan. I don't really like her newer stuff as much, but I love her old stuff. And I can remember just like drawing. Did you ever have the Immaculate Collection? Oh my God. I loved that tape so much. I had the CD and the tape. And I would drive around and I love that song. Cherish. Cherish. Do you guys remember that song? Anyway, how are you doing? Papa don't preach. That's probably what you're thinking over here, aren't you? You're probably thinking Papa don't preach. Listen, there. this fan has seen better days. I think I need a new Beast fan. All right, let's get into today's video. <laughs> yes, I know that my camera always focuses on these plants over here and not on the star of the show, which is the fan. But anyway, um, today we're going to talk a little bit about... Jeffree Star, of course, leading into the Shane Dawson thing. There's some interesting movement that is going around Jeffree Star. A friend of his came out and had some things to say, kind of. I don't know the message that's trying to be sent out. I'm going to let you guys decipher it. Jeffree Star did something today that I found very, very interesting. Um, and people are starting to speculate that maybe in the next couple of days, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson are going to come out and make statements. I have some speculation about that. Um, are they going to throw each other under the bus? I don't think so. Not after what I saw today. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. But before we do, <laughs> do a little show and tell over here first. I need to get my lip gloss on. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm also going to... I just got that on my tooth. My mom used to always put her lipstick on it. It would always be on her tooth. I'd be like, Mom, that's so embarrassing. And she'd be like, what? And she... Well, hold on. I didn't do my top lip. <laughs> you got to do the top lip, you know? So anyway, and then my mom, she would put her lipstick on in the mirror as we were walking out of the house, and she'd go like this, and she, she'd go, it's just like rouge. So anyway, um, I wanted to do a little show and tell over here. First of all, if you uh, watch my review channel, I did this whole thing about Warby Parker over there, not sponsored, but my glasses for Warby Parker came in the mail. Here are my brand new glasses I got. They need to be fixed a little bit because they're a little small for my head, so they need to be this so I'm going to take them in and have them fixed, but I really like those. Those are my new glasses from Warby Parker. Thank you, Warby Parker, not sponsored. <laughs> anyway, over in, even though the rest of the world is. <laughs> but then I uh, ordered these fantastic sunglasses off of uh, Amazon, okay? I love the Amazon Prime. And uh, I go in there and I just order all kinds of like the, the littlest cheap crap in the entire world. So I ordered these sunglasses. Now I ordered three pairs because it was like three for $20 or something like that. So I just picked out the most random colors. And uh, if you watch my videos regularly, like my review video, my vlog, you'll know that I wear like those key sunglasses because basically I think I'm a Kardashian, you know? But anyway, those Desi Perkins, I love those sunglasses so much. Those aren't really truly. I've had some really nice high-end sunglasses and those key sunglasses, it looks like Quay, but it's pronounced key. They really are good for the price that you pay. But anyway, these are uh, from so Sohos. It's S O J O S. Sohos, Sojos. So here's pair number one that I got. I'm so excited. Now I do know because I tried the other ones I got on yesterday. They have like a black tint to the top of it, but it said that it was uh, it was um, what do you call it? Dark gray. My husband he saw me driving them and he goes, "You look awfully sexy," and I'm like, <laughs> "It's because of the sunglasses." But anyway, so uh, let's get into these sunglasses. Are you guys so excited? I am. I know. But anyway, you guys are like, "We're here for the drama." No, you're here for the sunglasses. Quit lying. You know you are. Here, let's take all this off. Now, here are the first pair, and these are going to be kind of like the ones that can go in the pool and stuff. You know, I think I already own these. These are like supposed to be purple tinted, maybe, or something. I don't know. What? They're crooked on me. They don't fit. I don't care for those. Anyway, we'll keep them anyway. And then this is the other pair. I don't know which pair. I, I thought I ordered a green pair. Are those what they consider green? Oh, these look blue. Ooh, I'm excited about these. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I love these so much. Okay. Oh, look at these. Okay. I can't really see because of the ring light how they look. How do they look? <laughs> Just like the other ones. Eh. Oh, no. See, these are supposed to be kind of green. Well, that's cool. So, anyway... That's my uh, show and tell for the day, and now we can uh, get into the real drama. I wanted to kind of check in with 
people, I haven't done this in a while, so uh, I wanted to check in with what the people. <laughs> Y'all are the people out there. What, what are you doing? Now, I got up today. My husband and I, we went to our favorite restaurant, which is Cafe Patashu in Indianapolis. And um, he had the Cuban breakfast and a bowl of uh, turkey chili with tons of croutons. You can go over to my Instagram. I took a picture of all his croutons. He loves the croutons. I was actually talking about that in my vlog last night. But anyway. But anyway, ding a ling a ling, sham a lang, dang ding dong, ding house drama drama phone. This is Peter speaking. Oh, hi, Jane. How are you? The women's league. The women's league. What? Well, no, I, I'm going to take one of my uh, tuna tetrazzini casseroles out of the deep freezer for Tuesday. Uh huh. We have so much to discuss. Mm, a Trish Paytas. Uh huh. Peter Mon. <laughs> well, he's in it a little bit. <laughs> have you noticed his new thumbnails? Oh, my lord. A little, little, little hidden secret in those thumbnails, every new one. One, right? Uh, I love that so much. Caught on to that real quick. Uh, Jeffrey Star, Lipstick Nick. Uh, so much to talk about. <laughs> Rylan, who? Okay. Well, all right, Jade. I'll see you at the Women's League on Tuesday. Anyway, so uh, I wanted to get on here and I wanted to, I, I noticed that a couple people said it was their birthday today, so I wanted to give some shout outs. But I put up on, oh, and then I had the gluten-free waffle with potatoes and ketchup. My husband also had the Cuban breakfast. He loves that. And then we had coffee and it was delicious. So anyway, I said, good morning. How are we doing today? Sarah said, just made some strong coffee, so I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great, Sarah. Thanks for asking. And then Myla said, hey, Myla. She said, excellent. Enjoying my day off to the fullest. Um, and then uh, who, I can't, uh, XOXO. Air Arley said it'd be better if you put up a new video. Well, here you go. This is this video is dedicated just for you, Arley. Okay. And uh, Joseph said, "Good, doing good. How are you? I'm doing good, Joseph. Thank you for asking." Uh, Brianna said, "Just enjoying my day. Hope you are too. Thank you." Uh, I got to go through here because there's a couple birthdays in here. I want to see. Um, oh, Queen Austin Harris said, not bad, Uncle Peter. How are you doing? Well, I didn't know I had any nieces, but uh, thank you very much. It's nice to meet you, I guess. And then I'm um, doing okay. And uh, let's see. Um, hold on a second. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kim uh, Kimberly said, drinking my coffee and watching Kendall Ray. Hey, Kendall Ray, keeping up with the crime. Now, y'all know I have a true crime book club. Uh, so wait, then uh, let's see uh, who else. Somebody in here said it was their birthday. I know I they did. Hold on, where is it at? Um, oh, Cheyenne, here it is. I, I red-hearted it. She said it's my 25th birthday. Happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday, dear Cheyenne. Boost! Happy birthday to you. I hope you have a great 25th birthday. There was one other birthday in here. Hold, someone said better than Ry Shane and Ryland, but how do you know who said that? Uh, L.A. said that. Um, let's see. Good. People said peachy keen jelly bean. How was your day thus far? Far said then that said that that one offensive chicka. Um, let's see what else. Um, somebody else said they're catching up on my videos. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, here it is. Mary said, it's my birthday, so I'm doing great. And everybody underneath there was like, happy birthday. Well, there was one person, I guess, that said happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday, dear Mary. Happy birthday to you, and many more. Okay, so let's get into the drama. Everybody's doing great. Let's talk about, whoo, what is going on, okay? What is going on in the world? <laughs> I was going to do this little TikTok because I know all of the words and I truly do because I listened to it again a hundred times last night. I was in my car like driving around. I was like, that's great. It starts with an earthquake, birds and snakes and airplanes. Lenny Bruce is not a, not a, not afraid. Eye of the hurricane. <laughs> it's the end of the world as we know it. But I was going to do this little TikTok thing and I was going to say Kim Kardashian and Kanye West um, <laughs> break up. You know, Shane and Trisha aren't friends anymore. It's the end of the world as we know it. You know, all these like pop culture little things that we think are the end of the world. But how are you doing today? Are you doing okay? Are you relaxing? Are you getting rejuvenated for the week ahead? Are you staying healthy? I hope so. Sending you guys a lot of love and positivity. Okay, so this came up late last night. I want to talk about this. Um, I saw it late last night. Hold on a second. This is interesting because in my video yesterday, I mentioned Lipstick Nick, okay? And I said, she always seems very nice to me. You know, she's, she has stayed friends with all of these other influencers. She still continues to do other people's makeup and things like that. And she actually follows one of my really good friends, which I thought was interesting. I was like, that's totally random and outside of the YouTube world, which I thought was interesting. So anyway, um, I was 
talking about her in my video yesterday, and I said, you know, I don't know, like, does she condone what Jeffree Star does? She, she stayed friends with him. Do they have some kind of business investments together? Whatever, right? Well, I said, I didn't really want to talk about it because Lipstick Nick seems very nice to me, and I kind of just leave her out of the whole thing and whatever. Well, she chose to insert herself right in the middle of all of it. So last night, hold on a second, Lipstick Nick put up on um, her Instagram. She, here, I'll, I'll put it up here. This thing, it says, apologize for your mistakes not your feelings. And what was interesting about this was, well, I'm going to go through. She put up a bunch of motive. That was actually on her Instagram. That was a post. Um, on her Instagram story, she posted a lot of inspirational sayings and she was showing herself cooking and things like that. And she said, stop doing too much for those that don't do nearly enough for you. And then it goes on and she says, the one who doesn't tell you what you want to hear, but tells you what you need to hear, keep that. Um, and it goes on and it says all this other kind of stuff. Now, I have to tell you what is interesting about this, okay? Is my first response to this, because I saw all these people come out and they were talking about it, right? And they're like, ooh, like she's talking about Jeffree Star. And people were like, oh, Jeffree Star is like, she's like basically saying, you know, uh, if you go back to what she originally posted, apologize for your mistakes, not your feelings. And basically what she's saying is you need to come out and apologize for this, right? But when I was reading it, I was like, mm, that's not how I'm reading it. Like, people in the comment sections of her thread were like, okay, yeah, true, 100%. I've seen this on Twitter. People were saying stuff. And they're like, oh, Lipstick Nick is finally coming out and she's speaking against Jeffree Star. No, I didn't see that, okay? What I saw was she's saying to him, don't ever apologize for how you feel about a situation. Only apologize for mistakes that you've made. And Jeffree Star hasn't made any mistakes, is how she's saying it. This is what I'm taking from it. This is just my interpretation of it, okay? And Jeffree Star hasn't made any mistakes. Therefore, he shouldn't be apologizing based on how he feels about a certain situation. And if this is how he feels about Trisha Paytas, and that's how he felt about her back then, then why should he apologize for it? And that's, I think, what she's kind of saying about all of this. And then she put underneath here, FYI, just in case anyone's gaslighting you currently, feelings are not mistakes, okay? She's making the, def the, the definitions, you know, um, and I always was taught that feelings aren't facts either. But you know what I do have a right to? I do have a right to my feelings. I have a right to feel the way that I want to feel about a certain situation. And don't ever let anybody tell you that your feelings aren't valid. Don't ever let anybody tell you that your feelings don't matter in a situation, you know? Just because we shouldn't necessarily lead with feelings doesn't mean that they are not valid to how we are responsible responding to a certain situation. Do I have learned in my life that it is better to be responsive versus reactionary. I used to be very reactionary to stuff. You know, somebody would set me off and I'd be like, let me tell you how I feel. I try not to do that anymore, right? But feelings are not facts, but feelings are valid. You have a right to your feelings and don't ever let anybody tell you that you're not. Which then that's interesting to me when she says underneath here, FYI, just in case anyone's gaslighting you currently, feelings are not mistakes. And I'm like, I'm confused about this statement a little bit. Like, I understand it, but gaslighting, gas, what she's basically saying that she's kind of sending out this like double message. Well, what was interesting to me, because what she's basically saying is the same thing I just said. Don't let anybody, you know, discount your feelings is what she's saying, right? But that you shouldn't have to apologize for how you feel about a certain situation. So I think that's why people thought, well, is she siding with Trisha here or what is she doing? Now, what's interesting is, okay, if you go forward, and you look at what's happened since then. Um, hold on a second. Do, 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 do. Um, where is this at? Jeffree Star posted this on his Instagram story, okay? Uh, five hours ago. He got up today. He was showing the dogs and hanging out in his house. And he posted this on his Instagram story. He took it straight from Lipstick Nick and shared it on his Instagram story, which I thought was very, very interesting now, he could be doing that to kind of just dismiss anybody thinking that she's coming out and speaking against him, or he could be saying, see, she's not talking about me, um, and she could be over there being like, yeah, I am talking about you, uh, share it all you want, I don't really care, but I don't think that's what's going on. I don't know, I think that they're, Shane is, tr Jeffrey is trying right now, I was kind of, gonna, I was kind of talk about Shane in a second, I think Jeffrey is trying to show right now that he is still aligned with all of these people, um, instead of, like, people trying to guess, like, ooh, he's not friends with Lipstick Nick anymore, ooh, his ex-assistant, uh, ex like, left, that Maddie, which I don't know anything about that, I just know that a million people told me that she doesn't work for him anymore, and they don't follow each other, supposedly, um, uh, oh, Shane and I are still really good, blah, 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 so he posted that, then the very next, this was very interesting to me, okay? Right after he posts, 
what she says about this apologizing for mistakes and not uh, your feelings. Right after that, he put up an Instagram story of her doing her makeup on her. It's like a, it's like her TikTok. And I was like, okay, what? Why are you like? So you're really trying to send the message out. Lipstick Nick and I, I'm surprised he didn't come out in an Instagram story and said, look, what we're not going to do in 2021, because he already came out his Instagram story. He was like, can January just be over already? He actually all, like, this is the thing that is so interesting to me is you are literally like in the middle of like the biggest YouTube drama for this, not the first time, not the second time, but like the fifth time, right? And you just act like this is where people like, think that he is a changed person, a changed person would come out and really address these things front and say, I know a lot of people are disappointed in me about how I talked about Trisha. You know, I, I, need, I need to make a video about it. I need to be, you know, I know a lot of people are upset with me about this whole situation with Shane and I and on and on and on or here by Jay, I need to address it. A changed person would do that. A changed person would get on video and take accountability, you know? Um, a changed person wouldn't just act like in an Instagram story, Bitch, 2021 has been so bad. Is it not over yet? Can we please move on? Whatever, okay? Move on from yourself. How are you gonna move on from yourself? Like, so anyway, um, by the way, I just wanna say I appreciate all the people yesterday in my video that I, when I said that Shane Dawson needs to get it, okay? Like, this is the thing for me. Like, none of these people really get it. Like, they don't really understand. Like, it's not just about your public's perception of how people see you. It's really about remove yourself from YouTube for a second. Remove yourself from all the money. Realize that there will be a day, okay, that is your last moment. That is your last breath. When you look back on your life, okay, you're going to have to ask yourself at that moment, if you have that opportunity, if you're that lucky in life to be able to have that opportunity to look back on your life. Like I can remember my mom when I had the last conversation with her, she said, when you look back on your life, it's not the things you did that you regret. It's the things you never tried. You know, and my mom gave me a lot of kind of wisdom in our last, con her, our last conversation that we were able to have. And she didn't even really know that that was going to be her last conversation with me, you know? But I believe that when we are towards the end of our life or we get older, because hell, I'm 48 years old. It's like I've already started doing this. You know, you look back on your life and you're like, I could have treated people a lot better. I could have treated people a lot nicer. I could have apologized a lot sooner. Um, I could have just not made as big a deals out of things. You know, I could have just given that grace to somebody else. You know, I could have enjoyed my life a little bit more. I could have been less focused on the things that are not important, like money and all that kind of stuff. I mean, money is important as far as paying our bills and we all want to have a nice life, but it's not as important as relationships with people and keeping your circle as tight as you can with the people that love you the most, you know? And I think that's what's really... The, the sad part of all of this story, you know, is um, that, I, I, like, a lot of stuff is coming out about Trisha now. Like, a lot of people are posting videos of things that she said with, you know, uh, Shane, and I might address that tomorrow. But it's like, I don't think that anybody is discounting the fact that Trisha Paytas has been highly problematic in her career on YouTube, okay? I think we can acknowledge that. I think that when you step away from that, all right, and you look at, and the, the, what's interesting to me is that the whole picture all of this time has always been, Shane has been kind of like this good, before all this stuff came out, right, you know, in the last couple, last year, Shane has always been this good guy that has kind of kept his kind of like wild sister in line and been like, now come on, Trisha, now come on, you know what I mean? And now we're seeing that like that's not the case at all and he was just inv as involved in it all of it as she was, right? I don't think that anything, like I'm not discounting the problematic things that she has done on YouTube, which are just countless at this point. Um, and I, I have addressed quite a few of those over here. I think it's just interesting when you look at the whole situation and you're like, and even in that mess, okay, people can't stay friends. Like he didn't even have her back at that expense, which then makes you think it is really all about money. And then you wonder when you look back on your life, because I really think, like, had it not come down to Shane saying to her, I'm, I'm not sure I can believe you, or why don't you come over here and just, we'll forget the whole thing and move on. Had he not said those two things to her, I think we wouldn't be where we're at right now. Like, I really think that was what pushed her over the edge. I think she would have continued to defend him for the next six months or two years or five years or whatever. And that would never have happened. But when he said, I don't believe you, she was like, you don't what? Like, I've had your back through all kinds of crap that I chose not to believe. So it seems to me that all of these people are very, and the conversation of money keeps on coming up a lot. You know, <clears throat> Jeffree Star and Rylan Adams and Lizzie, um, who are laughing about Jeffree Star saying, I don't rent my house. Like that video clip, have you seen that? It's been posted all over the internet. A lot of drama channels have talked about it um, from The Sip. It was from a Sip podcast. 
you know, that Jeffree Star was making fun of people that rent their houses. What? Do not, like, I, this is where I'm like, you have completely lost touch, touch with your audience because I would have to believe that 99.9% .9 of Jeffree Star's audience rents has a mortgage or lives with somebody else because we're in financially difficult times right now that people can't afford what they could be for. I mean, hey, Jeffrey, read the room. Go look underneath your Twitter when you post something about how you're in your private jet flying back to Wyoming. Go read the comments, okay? Underneath there, people are like, here's my cash app. My life is destroyed. I need help, okay? So a lot of people do rent. You know, a lot of people are on government assistance and that's, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Okay. It's such shade, not just towards Trisha Paytas, but towards his entire audience. Did you all not pick up on that? Jeffree Star laughing about somebody renting their house? Like, I never knew that that was something that we should be embarrassed about, okay? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, should I be embarrassed that I have cable and Netflix instead of being able to have an entire entertainment room where people are fl flying movies in personally for me to watch? I mean, should I be embarrassed of that too? Should I be embarrassed that I have a car payment? I'm not gonna be embarrassed about that stuff. I mean, that's literally the trick. I'm thankful I'm able to get a car payment. You know what I mean? Like, come on, these people just live in this world that's so all about money, you know? And then, you got Trisha Paytas over here, like, apologizing because she rents her house. And I'm like, and then she just supposedly, she and Moses bought some house. And I'm like, why are we having these really sad discussions about money? Which I think they're all going to look back on at some point and just be like, there, I have to believe as human beings that they are going to look back and just be like, it just, all that Louis Vuitton, all of that whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, you know, like this was interesting. I was thinking about this the other day. Like Shane always talks and I, hey, listen, listen, I love high end stuff. Okay. I like bags. I like trips. I like all kinds of nice things. Don't get me wrong, okay? Now, I can't afford as much of it as these rest of these people, but I do like it, okay? And when I can't afford it or if I can't, I, I get something and I carry it and I'm proud of it and I like it. But I thought it was interesting, like I just was thinking about this the other day that when I did meet Shane, like he carries like this huge Louis Vuitton backpack and I, and it, he always plays like this poor thing, but he had this huge backpack with him. And I, and I kind of like at first was kind of like, that's kind of funny because I wouldn't think of Shane, you know, like carrying like a huge, um, like backpack. I, I remember that specifically because Ryland had just gotten like a, a fanny pack as well, like a Gucci fanny pack. And I was like, I had wanted a fanny pack at that time. And I was like talking to him. I was like, Ooh, I love your fanny pack. Now my husband, he loves high end stuff all day long. There's nothing wrong with that right? But it's when you become consumed about that and you lose friendships over that. There is no friendship to me that is worth a Gucci or Louis Vuitton fanny pack or whatever, you know? I'm not in... <laughs> It's just sad. It's just sad. And these people don't value people. They don't value their friends. They literally have sold their souls to some degree. So anyway, that was the first thing that happened. Uh, there was a, hold on a second. That was my screenshot of Cheyenne. It's her 25th birthday. Do you know that? Cheyenne! I like that name. <laughs> What's it? Do you ever read those books, Misty of Chautauqua Valley and all those back in the day, those horse books when you were a little kid? Um, I loved those horse, like Black Beauty and all that kind of stuff. Did you ever read those books back in the day? Oh my God, did you ever see that movie, Black Beauty? I love that movie. Where the kid fall over and then Black Beauty saved him and all that stuff. Do you remember those movies? Oh my God, I love that, those books. I used to read those, those horse books and stuff. And then they make them into like after school specials and I just cry and cry and cry because you know, some girl, she'd fall in love with this horse and then they'd have it out on a farm and then she grew up with it and then the horse would like have something happen to it and then they'd have to put it down and it was real devastating. That was like the end of it. I just cry my eyes out for hours. Did you ever watch those? Cheyenne. I think she was a horse book. I knew that. I think there was a horse book called Cheyenne's 25th birthday. It's like, yeah, about a good old horse. Hey, Cheyenne, happy birthday. But anyway, then the next thing is that I wanted to talk about is Jeffree Star smiling. And you know what? He's got his pig robe on. Well, all right. Hey. <laughs> Nice of you to pay homage to Shane Dawson and take off that other uh, robe that you've been wearing for the last two months, Jeffrey. So anyway, he put on this uh, this pig robe, you know, of Shane Dawson's. Who's buying Shane Dawson's merch these days? I want to know. But anyway... He's got this pig robe on that Shane Dawson's merch, okay? And now people are speculating that he's sending a message out there. Hell yes, he's sending a message out there. He's saying we're still good and I'm still wearing his merch. Don't question it, okay? Wouldn't you love to be a fly on a wall for the conversations that are going on behind the scenes? You know Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star are having conversations like, girl, what do we do? And Jeffree's like <laughs> drinking his Red Bull. He's like, Shane, 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 just listen. 
Okay, girl, we are not gonna be the drama of 2021, okay? That's gonna be Nikita Dragon. We are not gonna be the drama of 2021. Don't worry about it, okay? Now, I've got some people I'm sending some things out to. I'm gonna work it all, my magic. And don't worry about it, okay? Gabriel Zamora, he's gonna run at the mouth. We're done. It's just, don't even worry about it. Just, Shane, just sit over there. It'll be completely fine. We are not gonna be the drama of 2021. I have to get back to Wyoming now. But, but Jeffrey, but Jeffrey, but Jeffrey, Shane, Shane, <laughs> Shane. I would love to hear that conversation, okay? I mean, Shane has to be like, what the hell do I do to fix all this? I have to believe that. And like I said in my video yesterday, Jeffrey, I think, only cares about the money and just let me live my life, okay? I think Shane cares about the money and he doesn't want his, you know, gravy train to run out, but I also think he cares about his public perception and what people think about him. And so I think he's gonna be like, I've got to do something to, you know, like, kind of, like, try to fix this. And, um, and whatever he had planned, I think at this point, he's going to come out and have to do something completely different, you know? And people are like, well, who is going to, like, back away from this friendship first? Maybe n neither of them, you know? Maybe they will, I mean, I, I keep on, like, thinking somebody's going to sell somebody up the river or whatever. And I really do, like, I said this in my video yesterday, it would be interesting if they came out and they had some kind of, like, joint statement, but they said it separately, like, we're just going to do our own thing at this point. I wish him all the best. You know, like, this has just gotten to a point where people's feelings are hurt and people misunderstand. And basically kind of, like, have you ever had anybody apologize to you, but, like, when they're, when, like, you're upset with them because, like, they dented your car or something or they, um, you know, like, I don't know, they ran into your mailbox or, you know, like, they, I don't know... <laughs> <laughs> took a sweater of yours without asking or something. <laughs> I had a good Judy that did that to me one time, right? And when they apologize to you, they don't apologize to you for the sweater, right? What they say is, they don't say, I'm sorry I took your sweater. It was like a shit move. I should never have done it. What they say is, I'm sorry you're upset that I took your sweater. And you're like, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. And then later you're at home and you're like, what? They're sorry that I'm upset? <laughs> oh, so they're sorry that I'm upset about it. Like, they're not sorry they took the sweater. They're sorry I'm upset about it. You know what I mean? Jeffree Star is the king of apologizing that his audience is upset, okay? Like, I'm sorry that, you know, you guys are upset with this, and I, and I totally understand that. But, like, if you, if you go back and watch his apologies and how he takes accountability, he doesn't. He takes no accountability. He takes no ownership over thing. He basically puts it on everybody else. But, like, what you hear, it's all smoke and mirrors, and it's very smart, honestly. You hear what you want to hear. But basically, he's not saying really what you want to hear. Does that make, you're hearing it because you want to hear it, but that's not really what he's saying. So do I think that will be what happens? Something like that. He'll come out and address it because he's had it, okay? I, I really believe that at this point, Jeffree Star is like, I'm done with this. I've had it. This is why he's sending out the little messages with Lipstick Nick. And, and the other thing is this, okay? Um, you know, like, there's a lot of people that are like... <sighs> saying, well, what if it's this, or what if it's that, or like, this has gone too far. A lot of people are like, this has gone too far, this has gone too far, this has gone too far. Well, Jeffree Star is sitting in a Instagram story wearing Shane Dawson's merch. Does he not think that that's not going to push the narrative and the drama further? That that's not going to push more people talking about this thing? You know, uh, Rylan Adams is getting on his podcast, and he is addressing the issue. Does he not think that's going to push the narrative and push the story further? Um, hey, I'm just a commentary channel telling y'all what's going on. You know what I mean? So, listen, I'm worried about everybody involved, too, and I hope that they are all getting the help that they need, and I hope that they are all surrounded by support people. But let's not forget for one second that when this was James Charles or this was Manny MUA, especially Manny MUA, okay, that talked about having to go to a hospital and stuff like that, I didn't see a whole lot of love and support out there for them. So what I hope is that we've learned from that. Okay, I hope that we've learned from all of that and we can say, you know what, we didn't give Manny the love and the support that he deserved at the time because he was going through a really hard time, whether we liked him or not. We didn't give James Charles the love and the support that he needed at that time. And, and I hope that, you know, we've learned from that. We can say, I hope that Shane Dawson is taking care of himself. I hope that Jeffree Star is taking care of himself. And I hope that they are getting the help that they need and the support that they need. And I hope that they do have people around them that love them, you know? I don't hate any of these people. Do I want them to learn and grow? Sure, absolutely. Just like I want myself to learn and grow. Just like I want everybody in my life, my husband, my best friend, I want us all to continue to grow into better versions of ourselves. Why would I want any less for anybody out there, you know? And we need supportive people around us that are going to make sure that we're okay and take care of us. But, you know, like, all of this is just continuing to push the drama. Jeffree Star wasn't doing anything and nobody was saying anything. And then all of a sudden he comes out and he puts this out there. So...
Welcome back to the drama, Jeffrey. That's all I have to say. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.